Hi, this is Riya Parekh from BTEC, IIT Roorkee Engineering Physics and today I am going to present the topic Interfacing Analog to Digital Converter Chip with 8085 Microprocessor. What are Analog Signals? Analog signal is a signal with a continuous value. For example, we have temperature signals, current signals, pressure, etc. And digital signals are uh, signals in the discrete format which is in terms of ones and zeros bi uh, bits. We require to convert these analog signals to the digital format as to make the analog signal computer readable, we need to convert it in the form of bits. Uh, uh, the computer can only process uh, the bits and hence we need to convert it. Um, and this is the major use of analog to digital converter. So here we have the analog to digital basic block diagram of the converter. We give an analog input which is shown here from Vn and we receive the digital output which is in terms of bits. So here if we have an 8 bit, uh, 8 -bit uh, digital convert conversion then we ha will have D0 to D7, the N here would be 7 ports. So the data lines here are for the bit outputs. Here we have the uh, interfacing block diagram of the analog to digital converter. We are using the 8-bit ADC which is 0800. The various pins here are used by interfacing devices to control and take in data. The uh, the input here is uh, the analog input which takes in the analog signal uh, which can be of the form temperature, current, etc. The SOC here is the start of conversion uh, signal. From this pin, the microprocessor sends the ADC a signal to start the, conversa uh, the conversion of the analog input, EOC. EOC is the end of conversion. From this pin, the ADC sends a signal to the microprocessor that it is ready to send the converted input. Output enable. This is used to enable the output uh, output from the output lines. So this uh, from here the microprocessor tells the ADC that um, it is ready to take in the output and here the output is given to the microprocessor. So interfacing ADC. The process of analog to digital conversion is a slow process and the microprocessor has to wait for the digital data till the conversion is over. After the conversion, conversion is over, the ADC sends end of conversion signal as I mentioned here, the end of conversion signal to inform the microprocessor that the conversion is over and the result uh, is ready at the output buffer. Output buffer we have here of the ADC. The output buffer hence um, and after that we will get an OE which after that we can send the output data to the microprocessor. We need an external peripheral device generally for ADCs interfacing. Uh, uh, for in the experiment we use the 8255 uh, peripheral device. Um, it's a programmable peri uh, peripheral interface compatible with 8085. So it is basically used to establish communication between our microprocessor and our ADC. Here we have the interfacing block diagram with the 8085 of 8155 but this is similar to the 8255 we had similar to the functioning of 8255 we had which we uh, performed the ex uh, experiment with. So this diagram shows the connection circuit of the ADC to the microprocessor. Here we have the decoder logic for um, selecting the 8155 it's the chip select um, decoder logic and the ADC here gives the digital output to the port A from these output lines also the port C here of 8155 is connected to the ADC using the handshake mode and handles the SOC, OE and EOC signals. So here we have the general uh, algorithm for ADC interfacing. Uh, uh, we first configure the 8155 or the 8255 in uh, the experiments case. The uh, 8085 sends SOC command to ADC. 
8085 communicates with ADC using port C in handshake mode. 8085 re reads the 8-bit digital data from the port A. Port A we have here. And uh, 8085 then stores the value at the given address. So we um, after we get uh, after 8155 reads the data from the ADC, uh, it uh, it transfers the data to 8085 where we store it. Here, I have shown the uh, uh, calculation of resolution of 8-bit ADC. So, uh, the digital uh, digital format of the 8-bit would go from uh, 8 zeros to 8 ones, which is 0 to 255, or the hex code from 0, 0, 0 to FF. So, uh, the resolution would be uh, the, uh, the highest voltage uh, minus the lowest voltage provided divided by 255, which, uh, which are the number of digital points we have here. So uh, the resolution is the width of this. Here we have the graph of hex code versus the voltage. Uh, on the uh, x-axis, we have uh, this part as the resolution and we can, um, we can mark the voltage here and see what hex output should we uh, supposedly get. Um, for the experiment, we did as for uh, using voltage as the analog input we had uh, the knob vary from 0 to 5 voltage with an angle between them to be theta final assume that the voltage uh, at any angle here a random angle here would be theta i hence the current voltage would be equal to theta i into 5 as we have 0 to 5 so 5 minus 0 uh, divided by theta final so this voltage if we plot it on this graph uh, the corresponding hex code uh, will be shown on the y-axis errors so we have few errors like quantization error here the quantization error is the noise introduced by quantization in uh, idle ADC it is the rounding error between the analog and the voltage uh, analog input voltage to the ADC and the output digitalized value the noise is non-linear and sing, uh, signal dependent so we sort of have uh, a noise error here and uh, the uh, the digital data are not clearly demarcated uh, the code for 8085 microprocessor interfacing with ADC. So this is the basic code and I'll be explaining um, the flow of it. First, we initialize the stack to store uh, our data. Here we have, uh, the, uh, we are loading the number of characters to be displayed, displayed as we are displaying uh, final your digital data along with the output uh, uh, digital voltage here so this this is the address of that digital data and here we call it uh, we call display here and then we initialize our programmable uh, peripheral interface um, then we select the channel 0 we initialize the soc and we initialize a loop where we check for end of conversion signal so until and unless we get the end of conversion signal for from the adc we'll continue um, going in this loop as soon as we get it we'll enable the output and the 81 uh, the 81 8255 would be able to read the adc data and now we uh, the 80 it will send it to the 8085 microprocessor and here we uh, store it uh, in the temporary location which is 2100 now we select the LCD position for the data and we have a call delay. Then we point to the data to uh, 2100 where we stored uh, the data we got from the ADC. We call the list B and we loop back to channel 0 which we have here. Uh, which we have here and hence uh, we'll be uh, finally able to show the output on the LCD screen. Applications. So coming to the applications, this analog to digital con uh, converters would have really huge applications in the commercial industry as majority of the processing and computation of the analog signals are done through this. So we have music recorders, we have digital signal processing and we have scientific instruments. 
these are the applications major applications of this thank you